Hey there, friends. So it's that time of day. It's time to make dinner. Yes. <laughs> and if we don't make it, nobody will. And we have to eat. So I think that's why us moms make dinner. <laughs> um, so what's on tonight's dinner menu? What's for dinner tonight? Um, Terra Top Casserole, also known as Cowboy Casserole. I call it Terra Top Casserole because Terra Top's main ingredient. Um, I did take this out like 10, 15 minutes ago just to let it defrost a little bit. Um, that way when it, when it does go into the oven, it doesn't take us long to cook through. Um, shredded cheese, cream of mushroom, a can of corn, sour cream, and milk. Now my beef is already starting to cook. I'm gonna mix it up in a minute. Um, it also calls for um, onions and a half chopped green pepper and one can of Rotel tomatoes undrained but I leave that out because uh, Casey and one time I used the tomatoes he didn't like it I forget what recipe it was in but he didn't like it and I think he would have liked the recipe if I left the tomatoes out so yeah if you want to add those in you can I will leave the recipe down in the description box below I have made this before on this channel uh, but it's been a while probably like a year it's probably been like at least a year since I made it and yeah, that's what's for dinner tonight. And yeah, let's get cooking. Um, my oven is turned up to 375. I'm still waiting, waiting for it to go beep, beep, beep. And yeah, oh, I have to get a nine by 13 pound. Okay, I'll do that. And yeah, we'll be set to go. That's what's for dinner. Quick, easy, it doesn't take long. Yeah, mix everything together. And when it's all cooked, put some ketchup on top and bon appetit pretty much. <laughs> okay, we are looking good. Just gonna toss it into the casserole dish. Um, no, I did look at the recipe, and that's <laughs> one good thing. Good thing I did. <laughs> like I, I knew the tear tots have to sit out for a little bit. Um, they have to sit out for like at least an hour, but by the time I put them in the oven, it'll be close to an hour. So yeah, we're good. Yeah, and because I'm not putting onions in this, I'm just gonna add to the beef a little bit of onion powder. Without trying to dump too much, like when I did my Big Mac sauce one time, and I did a short. And like I always, I think it was on TikTok, somebody said, um, I'm also gonna do pepper. Somebody said, Oh, why don't you measure it? And I'm like, Because sometimes, like when you make these kind of sauces, it's just best to eyeball it because I turn out really great and I I pour too much paprika because I was filming with one hand and that's the only reason why I put too much was because I was you know doing it one-handed if I wasn't it would have been fine but yeah sometimes you know the sauces like that are just so much better when you eyeball it yeah they are okay so that's pretty much just Oh, but I have to get a bowl and add everything in a bowl and whisk it and then add it to this. Okay, let me grab a bowl. All right, bowl acquired. Okay. Let's get the can opener. I'm pretty sure I, we drain the corn. see uh, yes strain okay what I'll do so my last video we talked about Maggie Maggie Smith passed away and this afternoon I found out the guy from American Pickers passed away. He was only 60. And I guess he had a stroke two years ago. 
<laughs> that's so sad. Like, that's, that is way too young. Like, I, I was shocked. Yeah, his, um, partner was his, like, childhood best friend. And, yeah, Frank was the one who passed away. I can't remember the other guy's name. Um, but... Um, and if there was a time they weren't getting along, but they made up, which is, you know, thank goodness they did, because life is short, you know, don't hold grudges, like, yeah, I was just scrolling, I think it was the book face, and it was like, oh my gosh, like, what, you know, so, so it's just, that is sad and devastating, because, like, he was only 60, he still had a good chunk of his life to live, you know, but back when we had satellite, when we used to, watch those shows and uh, like the American Pickers. I mean, we, we would watch the Canadian Pickers. I really like the Canadian Pickers. I'm kind of biased because <laughs> I'm Canadian. Uh, but I loved watching Sheldon. Sheldon and Scott travel Canada looking for antiques. I like those shows. They don't do it anymore, unfortunately, but yeah. Oh, that was an awful sound. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, all right. So, a quarter cup of cream cheese. Oh, not cream cheese. Sour cream. I need another spoon. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I was just, you know, so sad. Like, why, why is everybody passing away? Like I said, keep an eye on Dick Van Dyke and Julie Roberts, okay? Like, no dangerous outings. Just watch their every step. Yeah, like, it's just enough. Yeah, that's it. Enough. Okay, and half a cup of milk, and then we'll whisk that together. Yeah. Whiskey, whiskey. There we go. Every little piece. Up the spoon. Mm, corn. I love corn. Okay, and then I think it's just a cup of cheese because I think um, some of it goes on top. Yeah, one cup of cheese. Which is just like a couple of handfuls. Yeah, eyeball it. Yeah, that looks good. Oh no, rest goes on top. Perfect. all that. It smells good. <laughs> I can smell the onion powder. There we go. All right. Mixy, mixy. Good to know each other. This is your bonding time. <laughs> there we go. It's a good comfort meal. I'll probably make it like when it gets like really cold in the winter again. Oh, 
those kind of meals just to make those cold nights extra special. Yeah. Cozy meal, cozy blanket, watch Netflix or Disney Plus or pop in a VHS, <laughs> a DVD, whatever you have. Yeah. And stay inside yeah, when old man winter comes, which will be soon. Okay, now does the cheese. Let me see. Oh, layer half the terra tots on the bottom. I don't think I did it last time. I just did the top. Yeah. Because it's not big enough bag to do the bottom and top. If you have a big enough bag, you can do that. But I know this will not be enough. So. And it's this fine, just whip it on top. We line them up like little soldiers. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to spend too much. Like, I didn't want to buy two bags. Like, yeah. This is when you twerk the recipe. To your liking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are pretty soft. And then cheese goes on top. We sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top, toss her in the oven. And that's what's for dinner. Not too shabby. And it'll probably taste extra yummy because, well, I made it, but um, <laughs> because we haven't had it in a while and we haven't had a certain meal or dessert in a while, it just, it just tastes extra yummy. It really does. There we go. Almost done. If there's any leftover, we'll just put them in the air fryer for brekkie. Yeah. But there's definitely not enough for both top and bottom. Like, no. That would definitely take two bags. There. Let's put some over here. Here you do. Make room. There. Okay. That looks good. I do have a, a handful. You know, not too much, but you know, it's hard to tell um, that much, but definitely not enough for top and bottom. Yeah. It's raining cheese. Hallelujah, it's raining cheese. <laughs> That's the best kind of rain. Cheese. And you measure that, you sprinkle that with your heart, yeah. <laughs> and just use a whole bag. There we go. Perfect. That takes care of that bag. Alright, voila! I have to go wash my hands, they're all greasy from the tear tots. But voila! There she is. I'm gonna toss her in pretty soon. I'll put everything away first and then I'll toss her in. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes. So, um, and then dig in and pour some ketchup on top and enjoy. <laughs> All right, so I just took her out. She is bubbling. She is nice and hot. Gonna let her cool a little bit before we scoop some out. And yeah, but looks good. All right, time to dig in. Just, uh, and just somebody's the, getting cheeks. Okay. Just like the same day in the hockey game. It's a good size bag, but with tax, it's like nine something. And like they have like smaller ones, but they're four something. So you're still better off getting this one. 
still a better better deal. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, squeeze some ketchup on there. Mmm. Looks delicious. Smells delicious. Bone appetit. Let's get a little bit of a tater tot on there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm. You can't go wrong. Nope. Uh, it's really good. Now, if you have to cook it a little bit longer because of your tater tots are frozen, you just cook it like a little bit longer, maybe like around 10 minutes or so. Hmm. They're frozen? They're frozen now. Well, no, they're not frozen. They're cooked. Frozen. When you take them out, they, they def have to defrost for like an hour. I had, to, I had to leave mine in probably for like an extra. I think it was like almost 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to kill you, I'd killed you by now. <laughs> Are these the treats you're looking for? Yeah? Are, they? Are those the ones? <laughs> I like, I'll bite your finger if you don't give them to me. Here, let's get a couple more. You gotta go easy on them. She won't. <laughs> I know she won't. And she thinks every time you're in the kitchen, she gets treats. Is that good? Yeah, yummy in your tummy. All right, guys, we will see you in the next fun video. Take care, be blessed. Thanks for helping me make dinner. That's what's for dinner tonight. And treats for Lois. She had treats before before her dinner, but that's okay. Sometimes you have to do that, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. video. Take care, be blessed, and uh, talk to you for now. Bye!